Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique, where I take a look at a different Kickstarter project every single time and give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out the 19th most popular project in all of Kickstarter right now. That is Cheer Talk, the all-in-one pocket touchpad for any smart devices. Um, should that be smart device? Just off the top of my head. So, Air Mouse plus touchpad plus presenter plus shortcut. So, this is a very weird... There's like this huge gap in between air and the rest of the words, and I'm not sure why they chose that. Now, I do love the fact that they're showing me the item. I see it. I see it being functional. I see $35. I love that. Red Dot Winner. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the Red Dot Winner is, but I've seen this used, and so I looked a little bit more into it, and I, I, they have a website, and I went to it, and I was like, all right, what are some other Red Dot Winners? And that's when I realized there are 27,000 red dot winners and i was like wow that sounds like uh that sounds like a lot it sounds like a lot of winners and then I, I actually checked out their wikipedia and apparently how it works is you can submit yourself to be a red dot uh potential nominee and it costs you 99 euros and then you can say that i'm a red dot nominee no matter what you can literally make anything if you give them 99 euros and send it to them you could be a red dot nominee and then they randomly pick one of something out of there and you win money you get 5,999 euros it it sounds like a really weird thing and uh i was looking at some of the other red dot winners and i was like okay these look like a lot of um interesting products interesting but would be curious about security and would be able to be hacked to gain access to other devices i don't know but anywho, I do like the fact I know it's only 35 bucks because that is that is throwaway money on Kickstarter. I've done polls before. Pretty much any time you're in the $25 range or near that, people put very little thought. And, and why? Yeah, so why was Air so far off uh, into it? This iPod-sized touchpad controls all your smart devices wirely. I'm excited. I bet this video is going to be very, very snazzy. And I bet it's going to show me all the different ways to potentially use this. And everyone who should be interested in this. Because that's generally how gadget formats work on the Kickstarter videos. But surprise, let's see. Whoa! It's okay. It's so fast. Okay. I gotta, I gotta slow down. I gotta... S <laughs> wow. That was a lot. Alright. Here we go. I'm gonna try and pick up everything to show Scroll, like stuff, smooth stuff, smartphone, uh, mouse, TV remote, uh, presentations, and uh, PowerPoint. Oh, a laser pointer. Cool. Zooming in, zooming out. One touch to in. Nassau Free Home Entertainment. TV cursor control. Forward. Oh, volume control. Wow, they are really just absolutely shooting out of a cannon right now just everything this does i almost wish there was just like a smidge bit more time in between each of them but uh i'm getting it i'm getting it, it looks really cool oh that's nice is not like the other automate away actions i will have you i will tell you there is one very popular tactic that is used on a lot of social media to just to just get more followers and get more likes and that's just to automatically like everything just over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and um wow this this thing does everything like you're promising the moon here Using as a game control. Okay. Wow. That was. Uh, I need a cigarette after that. That was. That was great. I want it. I want it. I want. I want to actually believe that it does everything it says. 
But I'll be quite frank with you, and I hate the fact that I'm cynical like this, but it's it's just I've been a tech no file for 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 decades. Like I'm 36 years old, I have been at the cutting I've tried to be at the cutting edge of technology, or at least knowing what the cutting edge of technology is since I was like 12 or 13. My dad was big into technology. And generally when something comes out and promises that it can do this much this well, it's it's not going to cost $35 just and, and i'm i'm just really skeptical and so cheer dots first created one back that scares me a little bit more cheer dots aims to change the world with the power of technology although we have years of experience in the field we are young and energetic team of tech geeks laser focused on creative innovative ways to interact with the essential devices we use for work learning and fun we design our products with the hope to increase productivity and add convenience to daily life and yes if this thing does all the bells and whistles that it says it does it absolutely will like there was like legitimately 15 things that i saw on that where i was like oh my gosh i would love that because i have an ipad right here i got my phone over there you know i i got i got all these different devices and this is jalop jalop yeah okay jalop oh and it's kick booster so uh there might be a kick booster link down there in a little bit that if you click on it I, and you back this, I get like 5% of it or something like that. Now, here's what I will say. Wow. Typically, Kick Booster products, I don't give very high ratings. Because um, we'll get into. But they just they just look a little bit shady. They look... Whew. When it's too good to be true, it's best to be a bit careful. Yes. So, first created one back. So, they are promising the moon. The Red Dot winner, 2022, the Cheer Talk. And once again, I want to mention that I tried to find this information. I typed in Red Dot winner 2022 Cheer Talk. I even went where they had like here and you can look up the cheer talk like no the cheer talk is not here now they're the other thing they have another thing the cheer dot now the cheer dot did no that's a cheer pod sorry uh this thing which uh the tech touch mouse which was uh yeah this this was it was a red dot winner uh but i don't see anything about this one all right, wireless touchpad plus air mouse plus presenter plus shortcut generator. That like be still my beating heart. Laser pointer built in. Like that's just <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, for me, Sam, great YouTuber. I appreciate that. Uh, laser pointer built in. Like that's that's like so like awesome. <laughs> like so uh, customizable shortcuts. Forty grams lightweight and portable design. Once again, most of the people here are probably going to be for the United States of America. How many pounds is that? A half pound, tenth of a pound. Because grams, I mean, I'm a dumb American. I hate to say it. Ergonomical and practical look. One charge lashes up to 20 days. So that's fantastic. That tells me two things. First and foremost, doesn't have batteries. It's chargeable. Secondly, uh, long battery life. This is great. Like, do I, I want this product. I do. I want to believe. Because if just half, if just half the stuff works well, like this would still be a fantastic product. And I think they know that. You know, they are selling ice cream right now in the summer how would you like the power to conveniently control your devices with a single hand so after the video what am i thinking do i want it yes can you do it <laughs> yeah probably not like i like if microsoft let, let's be quite frank if microsoft told me that they had this product i would be like yeah i'll try it but you got remember the zune like i had a zune man i wish the zune would have done better but 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 it's like there's issues very interesting. Cheerpod was on Indiegogo back in 2020. Indiegogo. That place scares me. I don't do any videos on Indiegogo. I need to, I need to delve into the wild, wild west that is Indiegogo from time to time. Maybe I'll do that next week. I'm trying to broaden my horizons. Prices go up soon, starting at $35. And look at that. I want this. That's such a good price, too. Uh, let's unlock Stretch Goal. Space Great Cheer Talk is coming. So we hit $250,000, which we did. What? Wait. <laughs> So, all right, if we hit our $5,000 goal, we're funded. If we hit our 250000 so that is a $245,000 stretch goal. That sounds fun. <laughs> like, what? So, $5,000 goal, I, I missed that. And once again, this right here, folks, is why I don't give a dang if you were funded in 33 minutes. Because people ruin it. Everyone, like, it's totally ruined now. That is no longer exciting because people have just keep moving the goalpost. All right. But $35, that is a fantastic price. I will give them that. Let's unlock the stretch goal. Featured in. So it was featured in all these things. This is Cheer Talk. This is the Cheer Talk. And okay. Device. Who's this guy? 
Who is this? What do we got? One point. So he does an unboxing. And one of my favorite features is it works with shortcuts on your phone. Okay. This is nice. I mean, that's a solid video there. Like a quote out of it. Uh, one plus one plus one plus tier talk. Yeah, I want that. Controls everything wirelessly with just one touch. This is this is the shalop trope right here. Just regurgitating pretty much exactly what was in the video. With potentially some more information scattered in. I'd really just like to get the price. Um, I know it's 35 but I'd like to, I'm assuming there's a two-pack. You know, and the shipping. I think I just want to go to the pledge levels. But you gave me the price, so I can't even complain about that. And I feel like the price is, how much is it? It's like, come on, 35 bucks? Take a stab, take a risk? Let's see. Long press FN to start recording. Record any gestures. Tap FN to stop recording. And then the that gesture is now uh, the thing. This, uh, what is this? Uh, how to create short? Oh, so that's how to create shortcuts. Okay, small body, powered with great. Put it in your pocket, lose it. Type C. I do like this. Type C cable included. Love that. Always love that. And that adds to the thirty-five dollar value. To be quite frank, like yeah, you know, looks good. The case. Now the case. Do we get the case? Now that'd be a banger of a stretch goal. What is this case? So there's a case for it. There's a charging case to be nice as well, but that's still cool that it's a holds the phone stand. It's clever. So what is this? Oh, so you know now you're showing me all the different things. So click gets me on my Android phone previous page, on my iPhone, my home page, main button. A lot of stuff to learn here. But the bottom line is if you really if this thing really worked well, you'd you'd learn these things. You'd slowly start to learn how to do them. Here we go. This is what I want to see. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice. Volume up, volume down. You can open TikTok. Now control this. Control the volume. Scroll up and down. This this is honestly, I love the Scroll, flashy video. Scrolling left, scrolling right. But I think this is way better. I really do. You can also check the comments here. Wow. Like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm legitimately, honestly, now, now thinking about buying this. For scrolling with because of this video. Press. Record. Okay. You can open TikTok. Scroll up and down. Turn, and then you can turn off background running apps. Wow. That video, and I've said it so many times on tech products on Kickstarter, just have a video of you using it. Like, it just says so much more than so many other things. That was great. Now, I, I can you do it? Yes, I feel comfortable. You showed me it. You showed me the thing in action. It's working. It looks awesome. Uh, what's in the box? The cheer talk, the user manual, cable, cheer talk versus cheer pod. Funded with more than $500,000 with 9,000 backers, our first generation cheer pod campaign received great success. So one thing I always like to do at the beginning is uh, check the comment section of the previous Kickstarter project. Now that we know that this was the other big thing, let's see how people love this. So about this campaign, the campaign is closed, but check out the comments. When do you send me the products, please? Uh, you have never sent my products. You sent me an email. I replied with a new. Hi, sorry for the inconvenience. We sent your confirmation email. So they're in here on the customer service. Never received the devices. We will check it again. Received a mini plug, but not right. Okay. What I'm not seeing is has never worked. One of my cheer pods stopped working. Your website doesn't answer emails or injuries, inquiries. What do I have my, uh, what, okay. So what are you offering? New exciting colors, but haven't even fulfilled your original obligations. So I said, wow. I cannot get either of my cheer pods to connect to my iMac. My cheer pod can't use any gestures after Mach X Monterey. It would like normal mouse just left. Okay. Where are my replacements? As you promised. I'm very disappointed with this gadget. And even more with the customer service. It's not only a shameful bad service. It actually doesn't even exist. I contacted them several times because my cheer pod only worked for a few weeks. Never got an answer. 
I really like the idea of this product and shortly even was satisfied with it. Functionality. But as said, it worked only for a short time and don't get any support. So I must warn you, do not support this gadget. And then, so they responded two months later. Why don't we get a response unless you are picked on a social forum? I've sent three Chase emails and no response to date. These are all different people. You see the same robot, but these are all different people. Uh, <laughs> oh, shoot. So, yeah, so here's, and this, this is why we always do our homework on the Kickstarter critique, because I'm going to give this thing a grade, and that grade just went down. Cheer pod. Is it on Amazon? Let's see what Amazon people... Now, here's the thing with Amazon. There is... Uh, you can very easily become what's called an Amazon... Yeah. So... Oh, no. It's not on here. Oh, yeah. It is. There's only 30. Interesting. Cheer pot. But what I'm saying is the people will give you products then you essentially get in the five-star review. And it's a very common thing. You go type in like amazon reviewers on facebook there's groups all over the place uh paid fake reviews as of late yeah it's a very dark seedy underworld and it's very deep <laughs> confused about which one to choose see the comparison below to help the decision what i mean by that is like companies apparently sabotaging other companies like it's just it's like craziness all like and they're all just doing like ipad cords and weird like knockoff electronics cheer talk the cheer pod the price difference uh, so this is, wait, so this is the cheer pod. Cheer pod is the $99 while cheer talk is 59, but you're going to get it for 35 because you're not a sucker. You're going to back this design difference. Mo difference. K reward. If you want to get more than one cheer talk for you and your friends or family, you can go to add ons, add on more for, for, okay. I mean, it's a nice value. The all in the pocket wireless display adapter. Wow, cool. Wish you would have sh shown me this thing a little bit earlier. Uh, all right. So 39 bucks. That's just a really good price. I was honestly considering backing this <laughs> until I looked at that Indiegogo. Uh, Cheer Talk case. It's only 9 bucks. I mean, if you're going to get it, I feel like that's pretty reasonable. Uh, adjustable tablet and phone holder. Like, yes, this I would actually really love. I actually, you know, I have one of these. I have two of these actually currently in my basement. Uh, one of them's not being used, but these are great for, for shooting videos, and that's how I shoot gameplay videos. Uh, Three-in-one display adapter. Cool. Pocket wireless display adapter. So, once again, these are awesome. 29 bucks. But I, I hate to say it. I'm super cynical sometimes. I wonder how much I could get this on Alibaba. <laughs> like, if I just went to Alibaba and typed in pocket wireless display adapter alibaba and like and that's one of the things that we like like i see quite frequently and i hear people say oh this is like they'll you look at the comments of like some of these shadier kickstarters and they'll be like oh this product what's different between your product and this product on alibaba right here and they'll be like no 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 that was uh that was they were they stole our design or something like they'll, they'll just it's a seedy world design philosophy I'm glad it hasn't started trickling into board games yet. Yet. All right, so Red Dot. Before we launched the campaign, we received the good news about getting a reward with Red Dot for the product design. However, if you search Cheer Talk on Red Dot Reward, the search result won't show our... Yet. Oh, so that's why it's not there, because of the delayed announcement. Once it shows on the website, we will share the great news with you again. Okay. So they got that. They're one of the very prestigious... One of the very, very prestigious the winners uh these the very exclusive twenty seven thousand and four red dot winners they will be twenty seven thousand and five i think we should all take a moment for uh, a clap there uh i i now want to invent something and get it to be a red dot nominee <laughs> i really do because it's 99 euros <laughs> like what I could put that on my resume. I was a designer of a invention that was a Red Dot nominee. And that sounds fancy. Product regulations. Okay. We got stuff about shipping. Ooh, great shipping. Five to eight, seven to nine, five to... Wow. Fantastic. I mean, it's a relatively small item. So, essentially, price-wise, you're looking at 40 bucks. That's a great price. I mean, I can't even... What am I thinking, yes or no? I... Part of me wants to say yes, 
like for me personally just so i can review this product like i typically don't back these things on kickstarter in fact the last one i did i backed a wallet and i was so enamored with the wallet that kickstarter did such a fantastic job and true story i actually just switched back to my old wallet about two days ago because it had some fancy mechanism inside and the mechanism broke and then the wallet sucks now <laughs> it's completely unusable I lost my kid's library card because because cards will just come flying out now because it's, it's just bad. It's bad. So I'm just skeptical on Kickstarter. So with a new baby on the way, no, I will not personally be backing this in order to review it. But I would love to. Not not for me. Uh, but, but just if you have 40 bucks to blow and you want to take a stab on it, I mean, maybe. And I think that's what a lot of people will probably do. Um, but... Hmm. Final, let's go check out the FAQ, the updates, comments, get out of here. Uh, so 35 people here are $35. Then we have the early bird, the cheer talk, which 34 people took. The super combo, you get a couple of them. 244, 16. Okay. This looks like a pretty, this looks all pretty standard, honestly, for a kick booster product. I don't know the significance of a red dot award. Well, you would not be alone. It is considered by whom <laughs> one of the most prestigious awards in the design industry. And that's why I'm kind of throwing some shade here. I knew nothing about the Red Dot Award. And now that I do know a little, I'm like, this seems like a really good racket for Red Dot. Like, good for them. Because here's the bottom line. If you hand out these Red Dot Awards, companies, PRs could be like, oh, oh, because if you go Google Red Dot, it's like Kia wins them. And all these all these big companies do it. And then they, they announce in the press release that, oh, we did, they, we, won the, we won the Red Dot, the prestigious Red Dot. And it, 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 it's like there's 27,000 prestigious Red Dot winners. Like, unless this thing's been running since the, the 1300s, like, that seems like a lot. Are the same people behind another Kickstarter project that never sent out my reward? How do I trust your campaign? Wow, that is the—they are just cutting right to the the heart of the issue there. What? That's not typically what you see at the top of the FAQ. Hey, how do I know you're not going to shaft me? Uh, are you the same people behind? No, this is the first. No, we're obviously not. Like, what's? The, yeah, what's the point of having this FAQ? Is the is the answer going to be potentially yes? Yes, that is us. We're just banking on you not looking in the FAQ. This is so weird. This is the first time we started a Kickstarter project, and we feel very warm and welcomed by this community. We did have another project before, but on Indiegogo, our first-gen product, CheerPod. We have successfully sent out all the first-gen products, and you can see the positive feedback we got in the comment. Really? That's why we're certain we'll send out a cheer talk this time and guarantee delivery for all backers. Cool. Um, wow. What device is Cheers Talk? Why can't I find your award on the Red Dot website? Uh, they really want to hammer that home. Okay. Let's unlock Stretch Goal. Okay, cool. 250 grand. So, I'm guessing they didn't actually have the Stretch Goal. Because, once again, this is a Jalop product. And Jalop typically likes to bury the excitement. I'm not a fan of how they do things. But it looks like they decided, you know yesterday two days ago oh we're actually gonna have a stretch goal so it looks like they were like right, we're gonna get to a certain point we're gonna see what this big explosion is and then once we know like after the first two days like roundabout we're gonna unleash the stretch goals and i'm not a big fan of that just because you know it's you got to capture the excitement in the first 48 hours i feel like it's just super important but still having this is great and also the fact that they put it on the uh the kickstarter page that's huge as well like jalop is learning they're evolving that's the kind of things they typically wouldn't do i've seen a lot of jalop products where it's just like in here but it's not in there uh what do we got uh, that i went smart i just spend way too much time on kickstarter and notice what works and what doesn't work <laughs> i'm just observant we will unlock your first stretch goal which you're talking page reach 250 uh please help to unlock stretch goal by sharing this campaign with more people and then this is their kick booster link <laughs> they're sharing their kick booster link <laughs> they, they go oh no 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 they're taking okay so they're taking you to kick booster which by the way i'm totally gonna do that because if you if you want to take a stab at this one holla at your boy get me a nickel or something uh cascadia this is this is other products probably a lot of kicks booster products oh my gosh that one's cool this is a lot of stuff wow this is uh 
I really feel super, uh, <laughs> that update. Wow, that was a lot of other stuff we recommend. Very nice color. Loving the space gray. Yeah, so these are not going to be great updates. These are going to be very unengaging. Wow, this one has 47 comments. Okay. Take backsies. What did they do here? To show our gratitudes, we're giving away our first giveaway event. After claiming your pledge, simply leave a comment. Oh my gosh. Jalop? Jalop? You finally started watching my videos and listening. Because I crap on them all the time. If you start copying this, you guys are going to be... Yeah, this is great. This is how you get engagement. Boom. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> okay. So they're giving away stuff. Looking forward to using this to watch streaming video on my iPad. For EU countries, due to new changes in the e-commerce tax regulation purchases, there's a chance you might be taxed. Can you please clarify this? Hi. Your understanding is correct. The EU VAT probably requires... So you are going to get jacked by the VAT. Good to know. Uh, went through your campaign and comments and didn't find any... Find an answer for my questions. What TVs are supported? Is there any information available on how connections... It will be supported for Android TVs. Okay. They're in here, though. They're doing the good customer service there. They're answering stuff. What's my final grade on this one? This one's a difficult one. Because everything came to a screeching halt. The, the moment, like, in my brain that, that I went to the Indiegogo. And I just saw just a litany of just people having issues after issues after issues after issues. And... That that concerns me. It's not me. What's up? Uh, so, can you, do I want it? Yes, I do. I still, pardon me. Like, if I was more wealthy, I would still risk the $40 on this, knowing that, hey, at the end of the day, I'll get a review out of it. And maybe it'll just do a couple things that I really want it to do. And, like, I'll just find those couple things. It'll be cool. Be a neat little knickknack. Um, can you do it? I don't feel comfortable with that. Not at all. The more I looked into the red dot, the less comfortable I felt with the red dot just going forward. Uh, not to mention, as soon as I saw the Indiegogo campaign, I was like, just that, that's, that's, that's no bueno for me. So can you do it? I'm skeptical. It's it, because it's not just that you have this track record from your Indiegogo, but also the fact that you are promising the moon. This will do everything for everyone on all of your electronics. Like when you say that, that's that's just so insanely ambitious i love the, the ambition but i don't believe it how much is it great price fantastic price you get jacked by the vat but still 40 bucks to the united states of america they advertise it on the front door which i think is a genius idea especially when you have a fantastic price like this and in the end looking at this i'm gonna give this one a this is a hard one because i'm trying to rate this I try and grade this based on the presentation of the Kickstarter. And I feel like they did a really good job showcasing this. The only reason that I feel the way I do is because I did extra research to learn about the Red Dot Design Awards and go to their Indiegogo page. But the actual Kickstarter page itself, I think it's a, it's a solid A-. minus. Like, which I can't believe I'm saying that about it a lot, but we... We don't we beat her out we don't beat her out of the bush. The price is right there. The device is right there. All the things they can do. First minute and forty seconds. I go down here, I see, wow, it is really simple. There's not even a dollar. It's just thirty-five dollars. I'm in, I'm out, I'm out the door. Oh, now there's a stretch goal where I can get a different color. Cool. I think they're running this very, very well. So the project, I'm gonna give it an A minus. I actually I which but but backing it, like no. Like the actual product itself. I would be very skeptical. And so, <laughs> but if you want to take the risk, if you want to take the stab, uh, check out the kick booster link down below. It'll be there in like five minutes. Um, but let me know what your, what your grade is in the comments below on this one. Like, this is a weird one. Mr. Beast, give him 10, 10 that'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what's your final grade for this one because it's a real, like, I feel like the Kickstarter presentation and what they did was really well done. Not to mention, in the updates, they have a giveaway. They're tickling those Kickstarter algorithms. This is doing everything I like. I feel like I, I maybe I've told Jalop too much. <laughs> uh, but let me know your final grade in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. <laughs>